guys welcome back to my channel uh i have got blue hair for moral support oh it's so cuddly it's so cuddly um yes so today's video is going to be basically the lowdown on my shopping addiction um if you watched my last mental health update you would have seen that i said i was gonna do this video um and it's been one that i've been putting off for so so long because it's nerve-wracking to do um to admit that there is you know i have a problem um and it's not you know i don't think as recognized as um a drinking addiction a drug addiction gambling addiction what have you got stuck to you <laughs> we went on a long walk this morning and he's got bits of the outside stuck to him um yeah so i don't think it's as normalized as or like there's not as much like help out there for it um and i think it it can be a really real thing in today's society um, and it's something that in making this video I hope that um, I can help someone else by sharing my experience and help myself really um, know that maybe I'm not alone in feeling this um, so where shall we start so for me I have always loved shopping Ooh, get down there. So yeah, I've always loved shopping. It's always been an enjoyable thing for me. Um, it's always been like the retail therapy has always like been a part of my life. Um, I can remember like birthdays in Florida, like what do you want to do for your birthday? I want to go shopping at the mall. Um, and um, you know, when I was younger, I would also be like rewarded with things so like if I did well maybe on like a test I'd come home and there would be a little something waiting for me or like my mum would say oh if you come out with me we can go get a magazine and that would be you know like a reward in a way um so I've always felt you know a connection to things and stuff and as much as I'd like to be non-materialistic I have a lot of stuff including a lot of books as you can see um but yeah so I definitely associate shopping as a like good thing a pastime um and obviously gives you all those endorphins um and in today's society it's super easy to go shopping um whether it be in store online is a killer um that's probably where i do 95 percent of my shopping is online um and it it's not just one thing um my sort of main areas of buying are clothes uh stuff for the house and pins so obviously you see on this channel i do a lot of disney pin videos um that is where a lot of my money has gone lately um, and I will talk about that as well in a minute um, but yes clothing has also be a, been a thing and like home items decor so yes what I've come to realize is that shopping and my shopping addiction definitely stems from a mental health emotional place I I know that you know when I'm sad I will start looking at things to like maybe treat myself to make myself feel better if i'm bored i will just start like scrolling through websites to just have a browse at things and then something will catch my eye um or if i'm happy and like i've you know maybe got a little bit of money to spend i will go and get something like i'm very bad at saving my money and this is not down from like my parents always taught me about money and saving and um you know putting stuff away for your future and when i was younger i was pretty good at saving you know any money i got for birthdays or christmas i tend to usually like most put most of it away for savings um and you know 
that doesn't happen anymore because you know we've got a house things were bought mortgages need to be paid for um so yeah that doesn't happen anymore um and you know that is largely down to the fact that i'm currently out of work because of um suffering from anxiety and mainly depression at the moment i've been out of work for a year so we are currently on a one income household um because i have applied you know help through with the council and the government um and you know keep your thoughts to yourself whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing you know it wasn't a step that we chose to do lightly but it was a step that we had to do um to apply for some financial help and i applied for that in april and we still don't have that now what six seven months along the line so we have been struggling financially and um the little bit of money i do get um i try to you know put it on like doing the food shop and things but I have been really bad at buying things um and this is where I don't know how much to say because you know a lot of it's personal a lot of it is mine and Darren's situation um and it's unfair to put his you know money circumstances out there as well so yes we are struggling financially and with my crazy mental health issues as well and i feel like i hide my shopping addiction a lot better um than maybe darren or my parents think um you know i've got um paypal accounts um that you know i get like if i do sell a pin the money goes into my paypal account um, and a lot of the time, you know, I'll be like, oh, I did it, I bought it with my pin money, and really I've, like, flung it on a credit card, um, and, you know, things like that, um, justifying the need for things, not only to others, but to myself, um, for example, if something's a really good price, if it's on sale, I will justify that, if it's something that's really rare, or is, like, that is my one chance of getting it for like for example a pin if it's come up on ebay and it's one that you very rarely see and if it's a good price you know i will buy it and think and justify it that way um so yeah i end up justifying a lot of my purchases to myself um i try and obviously hide a lot of things from darren he knows that i've got a problem like we've talked about it um so it's not so much that i'm hiding that aspect of it um but i probably like probably like most a lot of wives probably hide their purchases from their husbands but this is like more than that um let me refer to my notes because i'm starting to not make sense so my addiction definitely like fluctuates from week to week like i could have one week two weeks of being really good being like really focused on being careful about money and things like that and then there will maybe be like someone drops a pin sale or you know something pops up on facebook um advertising a piece of clothing and i'm like hang on a minute i need that in my life um and i will you know go and buy it and sometimes i will think about it for a couple of days and then buy it sometimes i just throw caution to the wind and i'm like buy click submit and you know some days i just think fuck it life is too short to not have what you want in life and then the credit card bill comes in at the end of the month and i can't pay it and i'm like oh shit i've got a problem and this needs some addressing and then i'm frantically trying to sell things and yeah i don't really know where this video is going um i guess i just wanted to share my story in the hope that others can help sympathize with me um and tell me that i'm not alone so this is more about the same as it is my benefit as it probably is for some of your benefit 
so yeah like I said my my shopping just it, it feels like it goes in cycles I can be really good one minute and then it would just spiral and then I'm like bye 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 return bye 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 return return and it's just nuts like my postman probably hates it so yeah I don't really have anything else to say on the subject I don't think um but like I said this is probably the video that I have been most nervous to record like I'm pretty open about my anxiety and my depression but this is like the first time that I have properly spoken about it to anyone aside from Darren and that's scary and I'm just realizing that the washing machine's on and I hope you can't hear it I hope that I can you know work on this work on my mental health at the same time I hope financially we can improve um you know I can get the help that I need financially and mentally um and you know there's always a hope that you know one of my little small businesses takes off and that can help you know fund some of these impulse purchases which most of them are um if you are stumbling across this I have many small businesses link down below my latest one is a fantasy pin and art site so if you like disney things head over to that magic and stardust co thought i'd just plug that um but yeah i think i'm gonna go now because my throat is hurting because i've just talked for probably like 40 minutes between these two videos and yeah i hope you're doing well I hope this can help some of you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.